Hey ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to the channel. As always, it is Nick here, back through daily crypto news and analysis. And today, we are going to be talking about Casper in a very serious tone because I do want to give you guys the overall best info possible on what Casper really is becoming and building. So with that in mind, sit back, relax, and before we fully jump into this video, I just want to ask if you guys could please leave a like on this video. It does help the channel grow immensely, and I do greatly appreciate it. Now with this market kind of flipping into a little bit of a bullish sediment, now like I said, I will say this. I am not bullish just yet, but I know that the sediment right now is bullish and everybody's expecting everything to go, you know, up in price. For an example, I am not bullish until Bitcoin hits 53.5k. Now, with this in mind, let's check out Casper because Casper has been making some rounds, nothing too crazy. Uh, we almost hit 19 cents again, but we got rejected off of it. So can we say that 19 cents is resistance? Yes. Again, once we do break that, we do target some higher targets. But of course, we have to wait for that to happen. Now, I've been talking to you guys about Casper for a fairly long time for its enterprise-grade solutions. We've talked about it becoming, you know, Ethereum 3.0. We've talked about Web 3.0. We've talked about the NFT marketplaces, the decentralized exchanges, the automated market makers, and so much more coming to the network. Uh, it's going to allow the ecosystem to continue to prosper. But I want to talk to you guys about what has been happening in the past for Casper. So... Let's just jump right in to what Casper is really building, why I suspect that we are going to be at some major higher targets, and why I believe that Casper is probably one of the most incredible buy-in opportunities, even at its current levels, because I know a lot of people are concerned about the current levels, but it's really nothing too crazy. We are only right now up uh, from July, from the all-time low in July, five months ago, we're only up 267%. The Casper ROI is only 513%. That is not much. That is nothing. To be completely honest with you all, that is nothing. Now, well, like I said, with Casper, with the ecosystem prospering, it's going to blossom into a beautiful layer one network. It already is becoming that. Now, I do want to talk to you guys about some things that goes back in time a little bit. So, February 24th, 2021. Will new Casper Labs token take a bite out of high gas fees? Huh, pretty interesting, right? We just hear Casper Labs, this uh, new smart contract blockchain network announces its Casper token sale. Now, Casper has been in the building grounds for a very long time, for years now. But there's a few things from this article that I do want to, you know, talk about. So, here is some stuff from the article that I personally outlined um, and pretty much, in my mind, is very bullish for us. So, first off, we already talked about what Casper is. It's a layer one proof of stake blockchain protocol aiming to solve the issues of scalability, security, and decentralization that has plagued other smart contract blockchains such as Ethereum. Now, we do see here they are talking about Ethereum 2.0, you know, pretty much in hopes of solving some of the problems. Um, but we also see here that users still complain about Ethereum's high transaction fees, also known as gas fees. Ethereum's gas fees issues could worsen with the growth of decentralized finance and non-fungible tokens, most of which continue to rely on Ethereum. Like I have said, as Ethereum's ecosystem continues to grow, guess what else grows with it? Ethereum gas fees. It, it becomes, it, it almost becomes unusable in a sense. Now, we do see here, to tackle the problem of high transaction fees, Casper is introducing a gas futures market concept, and we do see here, by tokenizing block space to allow companies to buy future block space, Casper's gas model aims to allow its block uh, chains users to lock in prices now to have more predictable future network usage cost. Enterprises do budgeting at about every half of a year, so about six months. By providing enterprises a six-month window, they're going to have a pretty good sense of what their network usage is going to look like. This is very good. Good. This is also very good for enterprise grade solutions to come to this network. Casper Labs, which recently joined China's nationwide government led blockchain uh, network service, uh, BSN, has also been attracting interest from enterprise users outside of China for its chain of custody services and ability to uh, mitigate counterfeits by authenticating products, the network CEO told Forecast News. Now, while blockchain is already a national priority for public and private sectors in China, Western banks and institutions such as JP Morgan and Bank of New York Mellon are just now warming up to blockchain and financial services. As such, central finance, or CFI, uh, players have uh, may have to view the incorporation of blockchain technology favorably to streamline and modernize operations, which still relies on the common business-oriented model or language model. Now, this is 60 years old. 
and it's being used by 43% of banking systems and 80% of in-person transactions. That's why it's so slow. Now, they do see your uh, CFI or the centralized finance. Uh, see the writing on the wall? They're not dummies. They're going to increment their way, starting with risk reduction. And over the next three to seven years, they will start implementing more public facing products using blockchain technology. Now, we do see your key highlights from this is that, to uh, is that Casper itself is probably going to be the main enterprise grade solution. Is Casper blockchain an Ethereum killer? We think that the playing field is still very much wide open, so we don't really see our subs as an Ethereum killer or a Cardano killer or a near killer or any of those protocol killers. We think that the space is still very, very open uh, and each of those protocols bring a unique use case or value proposition to their customers, their enterprise customers. We believe that our value proposition is similarly very unique and that's why I always say that there's enough food for all of these chains to eat. And of course, uh, the way I see enterprise adopting blockchain is blockchain is part of a larger application architecture. Enterprises are going to take one tiny value proposition, one tiny piece of their larger system architecture, and they're going to imp uh, implement or pilot a piece of that against blockchain. And if they're going to do that, that blockchain has got to work with all of their existing delivery mechanisms. And none of the blockchains in the space right now have that going for them. Uh, so, or have that thought out. So... In terms of what we're going to be seeing, we're seeing in, in terms of the future for gas fees and all that kind of stuff, uh, what we are going to essentially do is we're going to tokenize block space, and this is going to be incredible for enterprise-grade solutions, like I've said. And in terms of enterprise-grade adoption, I think that it's very, very close. Now, we also see here blockchain company Casper Labs expands UAE presence. Now, we've talked about this a little bit, but we've never talked about what they're going to be doing. But we do see here use cases under consideration include financial services, proven authenticity, and sourcing for the Dubai Gold and Commodities Exchange, creation of a national UAE identity solution certificate or certificate, sorry, registry and notary signing use, uh, using a DAP like Casper Sign and university uh, credential verification. So there's a ton of use cases being thought about in terms of this. Now we do see here the partnership is the latest milestone in Casper Labs expanding presence in the Middle East and North Africa, MENA, and comes on the heels of, and I'm not even going to try to uh, pronounce his name, um, but is the managing director, MENA, for Casper Labs. Casper, uh, Casper Labs first entered into the region earlier this year uh, through a strategic partnership with Lead Ventures, and the endorsement from His Highness will further drive momentum in the market. Now, like I said, there's going to be a lot of updates similar to this. Now we do see here since that's Main launch or mainnet launch in spring, Casper has emerged as the only true enterprise grade blockchain on the market, offering a compelling alter uh, alternative to networks that have failed to garner adoption for enterprise grade uses. Understand what we are holding. This is going to be a massive altcoin to be holding. Casper Labs is honored to be partnering with His Highness uh, SJM Group of com uh, Companies and the UAE on government initiatives. We have seen a remarkable demand for Web3 solutions in this region, and we are excited to finally be able to deliver a network that meets the needs for a robust uh, enterprise-grade network. Now, like I said, these are just a few use cases. Then we look back on uh, April 19th. Big Token partners with Casper Labs to bring its data marketplace to the Casper network. This is going to be very huge as well. And this has already pretty much been Implement it in my mind. As Big Token scales its user base, the Casper Network's unique combination of high throughput, low gas fees, and decentralized governance uh, provides the premier solution for Big Token's growth needs. Casper Labs will provide professional services and support to ensure a seamless deployment process. Now, with this, they are talking about data. In fact, Casper's Layer 1 protocol provides the ideal foundation for our decentralized data marketplace. Uh, both Casper and Big Token are deeply committed to enabling users to own and monetize their own data in a decentralized centralized environment with millions of registered users already benefiting from the big token platform we see the opportunity to quickly scale our operations on casper making our marketplace more accessible uh, to more parties now the best part about a data marketplace coming to casper can you guys think about it is this is data really the new oil in the 21st century exploring the strengths and limitations of this metaphor in the information age now this goes back to december 11th of 2020 so almost a whole year ago data is the new oil it's uh, it's valuable but if refined or unrefined it cannot really be used it has to be changed into gas plastic chemicals etc to create a valuable entity and drives uh, profitable activity so much data to be broken down, analyzed for it to have value. Now, this goes back to 2006. Now, with oil now, the best part about oil, 
uh, or um, pretty much data becoming oil is the fact that now we can tokenize it and move it around. And I suspect that that is going to be happening very, very soon. In terms of tokenizing data, we've heard this come from, you know, DAG, HBAR, and many other, you know, networks out there. In my mind, okay, data is going to pretty much prosper well beyond most. And I think that in terms of data and actually tokenizing it to be transferred from one individual to another, that's going to be revolutionary. I think that this data uh, marketplace or decentralized data marketplace, I should say, is going to be extremely huge. And like I said, these are just a few use cases within the Casper ecosystem. We also see here, um, now this was pretty interesting. I've, I read this back in, I want to say November or in October. Um, now this was pretty interesting because they were talking about the Casper CBC, uh, excuse me, a specification, but they were talking about, you know, a catalyst for blockchain innovation. Casper network is an enterprise focused layer one, which we already know. They're talking more so about tackling these problems, but we just hear we are thrilled to be part of Casper Labs and their journey to solve the issues of scalability, security, and decentralization. Our team has always had a huge interest in solving the problems of high transaction fees known as gas fees. Ethereum's gas fees issues could worsen with the growth of DeFi and non-fungible tokens, uh, most of which continue to rely on, you know, of course, Ethereum. We've just read about this. But the best part about this is that when we're talking about a lot of these capital, um, you know, pretty much investors and stuff, this is just another one of those investments that proves to you that these these individuals that are investing into what Casper is going to become see the future for it. They understand what they are building. OK, and there's so many other use cases out there for this. Uh, in my mind, like I said, Casper being undervalued at 18 and a half cents is extremely undervalued, even at its fully diluted market cap of only 1.9 point. It's like almost two billion dollars in, in, in fully diluted market cap. That is absolutely nothing. OK. If we get into the top 50, the top 25, which it's not an if it's more so a when uh, situation. But when we do that. That's when people are really going to start researching what Casper is doing and what Casper is building. Casper has such a bright future in this market. I cannot tell you guys how bullish I am on Casper. I tell you it almost every single day. And it's not because I want you guys to buy something that is up. You know, I, I could easily talk to you guys about, you know, Solana. That's up 10,452%. Or I can go to the second page over here. I could scroll down to number, I think it's like 145, 146, and the year-to-date percentages that it's up is zero. And the reason why is because the lows that were in place, first off, it's not moving because of the ICO price, but in my mind, even if we're coming down to scroll down to the bottom page here, the ROI from the beginning of this chart in time, Okay, here's those, you know, major highs that the, it set back in the ICO days. Um, but even at, at the bottom stages, the most, the lowest all-time low price is about $0.05. Cents. Okay, we are $0.13 cents ahead of this price right now, which I know to a lot of people might seem like a lot, but it's only 266.33%. There are altcoins that are up 10,000%. And I don't need to tell you guys exactly where we would be in terms of coin perspective because we could just kind of go and look at that real quick. So let's go to Casper and let's just say that we had the market cap of Solana at current market cap. $21.46 or a 115X. Now in my mind, Okay, Solana being the network that it is, has a pretty good uh, overall ecosystem with the NFT marketplace and stuff like that. But Casper is building out these extremely unique use cases. They are having these major high level uh, partnerships and the ecosystem is prospering day by day. So in my mind, Casper is well worth $21.46 or a market cap of $59.3 billion. 
Of course, do your own research and understand what you hold. But with that in mind, I hope that you all enjoyed this video. If you guys did, definitely leave a like, subscribe, turn notifications on. If you guys want more free content, you guys are more than welcome to follow me on Twitter and join the free Discord down in the description below. As always, I hope that you all have a beautiful day or a beautiful night wherever you guys are in this beautiful. This has been Nick. Peace out, guys.